everyone. Welcome to the first episode of Complete Interview Experience, Experience by KIIT Hack Club, where we will be talking with the amazing seniors of our college, knowing their valuable experiences of how they grab such amazing offers from different tech giants. I am Astha Barwal, and today we have with us Abhishek Raj, currently an intern at Swiggy. So without further delay, let's get started with the introduction of him. Yeah. yeah. Hi everyone, this is Abhishek Raz and currently I'm in fourth year pursuing my electronics and telecommunication engineering at Kitty University and I'm interning at Swiggy as a front-end developer. To get started, can you briefly tell us about your college journey starting from the first year? Like, how did you start with your coding and development journey? Uh, yeah, when I was in second semester, I had this, you know, uh, C language in my curriculum. And I was not that good in my, uh, you know, uh, C language. So uh, after a few days, I got to know, like, I need to learn coding to get good jobs. Then I uh, read somewhere that Python uh, will be trending in one or two years. So I learned Python and I learned HTML, CSS, uh, Django, and, you know, in Python. And uh, I got this internship somewhere. It was kind of unpaid internship but they paid me four to five hundred for uh, the first month and in the second month they didn't pay me so i left there and uh, i at that time i also you know had college classes i also had to hang out so i was not you know that great in coding in my college days but you know after this coronavirus and the college shut down and uh, i got a lot of time to do my coding then i got this internship as uh, messenger x uh, startup and uh, I learned a lot there. I interned there for uh, around one year and uh, then after that I got another internship at High Radius. Uh, there I did f- um, mostly front end and uh, after like six to seven months uh, this Swiggy happened and currently I am interning here. Oh, so, that's a, that's a great journey. Now, being from a non-CS background, how did you manage everything like your college studies and your college studies with your coding journey? Uh, yeah, I, as I said, uh, I was not that great in my college days. So, yeah, but still I used to, you know, get one or two hours uh, in uh, and night uh, to do some, you know, small projects and uh, I, I got some time uh, on Saturday, Sundays, I, I also had joined some uh, communities like, uh, you know, some coding communities at Kit, uh, like Hack Club. And uh, I, I learned a lot, you know, in communities. And I also had to keep an eye on my grades because uh, they, these are also required by many companies. So, uh, yeah, it was, you know, a little hard, but uh, it passed away. So, it is good. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Now, moving on to your current internship questions, how did you get to know about the job opening at Swiggy? And was it on campus or off campus? Uh, yeah, it was off campus. And one day I was just scrolling through my LinkedIn. And uh, I used to follow some folks at Swiggy. And uh, I saw their post that they are hiring for some roles at Swiggy for the intern position. Uh, so I applied from there and I didn't expect because I used to apply a lot, apply a lot of, uh, I used to apply at a lot of, uh, uh, you know, internships or companies, but uh, I got their reply that uh, there will be one, you know, assessment and that is how I, you know, uh, got the opportunity. And I would, I would say if you are applying for, you know, off campus, then first try to take an referral from someone. Uh, if you didn't get the referral, then apply directly. Okay. Now, talking about your front-end role, how did you prepare for the front-end role and what resources did you specifically use for the interview preparation specific to Swiggy? Specific. Yeah, I would say the journey uh, started one year back. I got this message from uh, Arnav Gupta. Uh, he is you know, coding blog, founder of Coding Blogs that he will be interviewing for a uh, javascript role uh, and he liked my profile and at that time i did n- uh, know much about the front end i work i have worked on i had worked on back end so i started googling like uh, what is like uh, interview questions front end interview questions uh, what are the questions asked uh, then i got some you know 
uh, YouTube channels like uh, there this guy Akshay Sani he makes great content on front end uh, he has a great playlist on you know Namaste JavaScript it is called and uh, there are many also uh, channels on YouTube like Chrome developers and he himself had a great channel on uh, YouTube uh, named Coding Blocks so I learned a lot of things I read a lot of blogs and uh, I think I learned uh, you know a lot of things one year back and after uh, the, I think that thing helped me here and so I will also you know put some you know details you can also put some details in the description general I will give the links to all the yeah, resources. we sure will yeah we sure will now um in the interview that for the position that you're currently at how many rounds were there and can you explain the step-by-step process of each round each assessment round each interview round yeah uh, the first one was uh, the online assessment uh, i got an hacker rank uh, link and it consisted of one uh, react debugging uh, question i there was some you know react code already written i had to found the find the error and solve the whole challenge and after that uh, there was one interview uh, with a engineer, one uh, sd1 and uh, i had to uh, you know uh, I, the questions were mostly from react javascript uh, basics of dsa uh, like array recursion uh, uh, memoization and uh, uh, there was uh, you know a lot of css animations there because uh, you can see the app has a lot of uh, good animations so and uh, in in the uh, uh, second interview i was mostly asked on you know the front end uh, applications how the work and uh, you know like debugging uh, the front end uh, applications and all and uh, after that i got a call from hr you know about uh, hr questions were asked so i think i would say there were four rounds uh, in total Oh, okay. Now, as you mentioned earlier that you were coding in C, but then you felt like you were lacking and you started preparing for it. Now, what resources did you use to prepare for subjects like DSA, like core subjects, OS, DBMS, OP, computer networking, etc.? Uh, yeah, when I was in second year, I did some DSS, some amount of DSS for sites like Geeks for Geeks. And uh, I solved some questions like 10, 20 questions on LinkedIn. I'm not, I'm not that, you know, DSA geek. I've not solved uh, too many questions on DSA. But I know basics of DSA and, you know, all the basic data structure algorithm required to create applications. Because, you know, I mostly did front-end, so I mostly fo- focused on my front-end skills, projects. And uh, talking about OS, DBMS, I don't know, like, what uh, what are inside OS or a DBMS. I know, you know, uh, the basics of that, but uh, I haven't studied uh, the core of that. And I had computer networking in my curriculum, so uh, I know a little bit of uh, OSI layer and all, but... No, I'm not good in those subjects, so uh, I can't comment on that part. Oh, that's fine. But but you got the job you're at. So, one way or another, it's, I, it's not that important for you not, right now. Okay. Um, was there any particular topic that was dug deeper when you were asked, that you were asked about in the interview? Like, any particular important topic, stuff? Yeah, as I was interviewing for front-end uh, developer role, so there were mostly questions from code JavaScript, how JavaScript works, and uh, uh, you know polyfills of JavaScript, uh, CSS animations, uh, uh, React, uh, and you know uh, some you know advanced topics of React and uh, like good code habits in React and uh, yeah and you know some basic data structure like array uh, uh, tree and recursion so yeah these things were mostly asked because i mo- i had more i had to do mostly uh, front end oh that's that's cool now as you mentioned earlier that you have done a few internships before so um how would you say that those how have those previous internships help you gain experience for your current role like how did they better your practices, etc. 
so uh, all the internships i did i learned a lot at those interns because i some at some internships i had to do a lot of things like back end devops data engineering front end everything and you know i i learned the basics of everything there and uh, in my previous uh, in, internship at high radius i learned a lot of front end skills uh, which were required in this internship and in the interview process also so i would say internship were uh, internship were very crucial for me for you know this uh, of offer so i would say it was it is really you know important for if you are in, going for front end you know android ios or machine learning then i would say you should go for internships as well yeah now uh, a question our audience might be wondering might be wanting to ask you if someone is aspiring to be a front end developer where should they be starting out i would say uh, first learn you know basics of html uh, css or javascript because these three are most required and uh, css animation is also required by for some companies uh, if they have some good animations and uh, javascript is most important uh, because uh, everything will be running on javascript so these three are most required then learn data structures and algorithm because you know uh, learning the like you should know uh, some basics because without knowing uh, your application will be not running uh, you know smoothly so dsa is uh, basics of dsa is required uh, then go for some uh, frameworks like react vue you can also go for angular if you want and uh, learn a lot of you know blogs about uh, how some applications are written architecture of the application and uh, you know make some projects uh, which are and deploy it on some server so that anyone can see it post it on linkedin what you are doing and you know write some blogs so everyone should know what you are doing and how you are doing it really helps and in order to be industry ready which with where should one focus on apart from the college studies and the courses that they taking up like ready to go out in the job field yeah i would say uh, in my for, in your first or second year uh, first find out what you want to do like in what in which domain you want to go uh, you know uh, engineering uh, ui ux uh, designing anything like first find out like try everything out in your first second year then in your third year uh, do some you know if you are if you want to go for fang or back end developer then do a lot of dsa cp community programming or if you want to you know go into specific skills make projects do some internships or you know if you want to go in designing then have a great portfolio in designing and uh, do some internship because in these field internships are really uh, helpful and do post it out uh, uh, on you know you know public uh, social media what you are doing uh, then <clears throat> it it gives you reach uh, what you are doing so i would say uh, after in after doing internship you will uh, know what how industry works and all so yeah these things are, yeah first find out what you want to do then uh, then in your third fourth year do it mm. now speaking of resumes and portfolio what is the importance of internships and projects on resume apart from your say school grade and job experience and does the importance vary from company to company yeah it all depends upon company some company like microsoft goldman sachs google so they all uh, no, i i know like some companies you know look at your uh, grades and they will filter a student on the on the grades of this there and then they will send the test link so uh for some companies grades are important for some companies internships are important first for some companies projects are important for some companies dsa is required for some companies cp is required so first find out like if you want to do you can all you can do everything uh, then you can apply for all companies or you can first find out which company you want to go and then uh, you know do some uh, do only that thing then it like there is no specific path you can follow anything and <clears throat> you can reach if you are you know consistent in what you are doing yeah that is true first have a set goal then go around that path okay. lastly um i'd like i'd appreciate if you would give some 
tips to the juniors who are preparing for internship and placements i would say <clears throat> uh, make make good projects uh, like contribute together join some you know <clears throat> communities like hack club or dscm like, like i'm not saying only one particular community you can join any co- community because you know uh, you will get similar kind of people like minded people uh, make some friends make connection uh, those are also required and uh, be active on social media because <clears throat> it is uh, you know very important because you can get a lot of good opportunities on social media and post it out so that everyone can see you know you are also doing uh, this thing in this particular domain then they can <clears throat> reach out to you so uh and you know never lose hope just keep doing consistently you will uh, see some result in some days and like it always works out so uh, this is all my tips thank you so much for let us letting us know about the insights into the placement preparation and interview experience and thank you everyone for watching this episode you can get to abhishek raj via the links in the description this was our start from KIT Hack Club and thanks again.